call your attention to some of the items that are going to be available on Charity Buzz. These are going to be there for the next two weeks. Uh, would obviously make the best holiday gifts ever. Absolutely. We've got um, Tommy Hilfiger. Oh, oh. Are you familiar with Tommy Hilfiger? One Tommy. of the most iconic fashion, American fashion designers. And he'll personally style you for the spring Excuse season. Me. He will, Tommy Hilfiger will style. Oh my God. Excuse me, please. Ladies and gentlemen, what a thrill. Excuse me. President Donald Trump, or ex pre or. Excuse me, can I talk? Can I please talk for just a moment, please? The clapping and yelling, it's freaking me out. It's not so good, John. I understand. I apologize. Johnny sir. Stewart, everybody. Little Johnny, he's so great, right? Thank Little you. Little Johnny. Thank Daily. you, former Mr. Daily President. Daily Show. Remember that one, Daily Show? Yes. I... It used to be Greg Gilborn, and then it was, who is it now? It, uh, nobody. There's Nobody's no doing I guess it's no surprise. <laughs> It's no surprise. You went too hard on Bush. I don't think she deserved it, you know? Yeah. Weathering heights and all that stuff. Running up that hill. I thought she was great. Remember that, Bush? She was so good. Remember? Kate Bush. Kate Bush. And she was one of the best that we ever had. George Bush, very bad. Iraq, not so much. <laughs> but we love Kate Bush, right? Stranger. Stranger Things. We like that one, right? We, did, we do like that. What, what have you been... Oh, I'm sorry. Where the yeah. hell did you go? I don't want to... He's so little, I can't see him. Where'd he go? I don't, I don't want to. He, however, very big and strong, taller than anybody. You know, I was at a rally. A big fella came up to me. Yeah. Tears in his eyes, and he said, "You have to be the tallest person I've ever met." I said, "I am." <laughs> and thank you so much for saying. And you're not going to believe this. That man's name, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, Mr. Jesus. But you don't care so much about Jesus, do you, John? You well, no. He was. He was one of ours. I have to. Not to, be, not to be technical, but we started it. A lot of people say, you know, I think a lot of people say Jesus is one of the best in terms of religion and with regard to heaven and in terms of <laughs> praying and all that stuff. We love Bible and all of it. I thought he was great. And all the animals, everybody got on his boat and he saved them all from the flood. I thought that yeah. was so good. He's terrific. He's, he's a terrific... Uh... Should we do the auction items, though, Mr. President? Because what the hell are you talking about? No, we what is keep that? going. We can keep going. The second one that's coming up is We're you and a guest. Auction items. Auctioning? Yeah. You and a guest what get is a that? chance to spend the day in a studio with entrepreneur, actor, producer. I can't understand a word that he's saying. What it's, the hell is he saying? It's a, it's a, it's a British accent. Where do you accent. get these people from? From Britain. We get them from Britain. Sir. Britain? Britain. Britain. Yeah, United Kingdom, sir. Is that like a bar on the Upper East Side or something? No. Like Britain. Britain. Actor producer Christopher C. J. Wallace. You can't say England anymore, folks. You got to say Britain. It's Britain now. It's you used to be able to say England, and everybody knew what the hell you were talking about. Now yeah. you come here, he says Britain. What the hell is it? Christopher C. J. Wallace. Beatles, right? You ever met them? You ever talked to them? <laughs> Mark and John and all of those. Okay, those are great. I want to hold your hand. You ever do that? You ever do that? You ever hold a hand? We're going to get there. C.J. Wallace, son of legendary Biggie Smalls and Faith Evans. Oh, oh. you can spend a day with uh, uh, the children of Biggie Smalls and Faith Evans. It'd be tremendous. Biggie, At the Barclay Center. Biggie Smalls. Yeah. <laughs> I think one of the rap god, right? He's a rap god. Well, that's a different artist, but yes. Rap god. He, was, uh, he, he liked it when you called him Big Papa. B Big Papa. You know, a lot of people call me Big Papa, I say. <laughs> I love being Big Bob. I like being Mr. President as well, and perhaps one day uh, dictator, but you know, Sasha ruined it, I think. Yeah, yeah. I no. think Sasha, it, it tanked so hard, and Sasha, you know, we gave I it can't so much even, as board. part of a comedy bit, go along with that. Like, <laughs> like, I'm laughing, but then when you said that, it just You're made talking, me I sad. Think so, it just filled that be me great? with something you terrifying. Out everybody. You got one guy, he says, we're going to kill everybody, and it's great. It's perfect. <laughs> It's a great way to do government and monarchy, I think, autocracy. You know, all of them are good. But I think dictator may be the best one. You get to sit in a big chair, yep. throne of skulls. I said, I love these skulls. It looks so good. Shoot everybody with my little laser beams, my little lightning. I don't like you. you know. And Darth Vader, by the way, Darth Vader is a very good friend of mine. You know, I watch <laughs> Vader all the time. And I thought he did great stuff with dictator. You know, he was going to bring balance. To the force, he was going to be balanced to the galaxy. And it's so imbalanced now. You got 
Ray jumping around everywhere. She's floating with rocks and all that. People say, we don't like it. We don't like it so much. I said, where's Jar Jar? We said, we got rid of him really fast. <laughs> Jar Jar was giving us a lot of problems. I said, take him out. Let's take him out. I did it on day one. Hold that thought. We have the sweet accent. Oh, yeah, Biggie Smalls, right? Biggie. Biggie Papa, Smalls. love it when you go, me Big Papa. That's right, at Barclays Center. What's the next item? Go to the next item that we have. Keep it moving. Oh, Keep it moving, Frankie. Wait, we got Mr. President, Mr. Trump, you're going to love this one. A chef's dinner. A chef's dinner is the last thing I'd like to tell you about. Please do. What if I'm allowed to. Go ahead. This is a good one. Can you Experience, understand a fucking word that guy Experience saying? a chef's dinner by James Beard, award winner for outstanding chef, outstanding restaurant, yeah, prepared, prepared by Michael Solomonov at the famed Philadelphia restaurant, Zahav. Zahav, famous Zahav. restaurant. I don't, you know Famous what? restaurant, sir. I don't like it with James Beard, you know. This, <laughs> this is a man who comes in, he says, this is a good restaurant. I said, let the food speak for itself. The food yeah. speak for itself. But wait, wait, a it, man with it a gets big better. Beard. Here's who you're going to be having dinner with. This is the exciting part. None other than famed Philadelphia Eagles center, Jason Kelsey and his wife, Kylie. And you can invite six guests to this amazing dining experience. In your programs is a more detailed description of all these charity buzz items or a QR code. You can bid on them as well. Don't let these experiences get, get away from Still you, sir. Talking. What I'm not hearing is listening. I, I, hear I understand, you. sir. Jason Kelsey. Jason Kelsey, who's he dating? Demi Lovato or something like that? You gotta go on the day. Who's on the Taylor? I don't know who that would be at this point. Sanjaya or something like that. Yeah. Jason Sanjaya. Kelsey and Sanjaya, they're the new couple. <laughs> Jason Kelsey was spotted canoodling with Tyler Swarns. You know what I mean? Sure. No, I, I you know what I'm talking about? I do. Because he's got the brother and she's doing with Taylor Swift and all of that. Yes. Bad Blood. Did you like that one? Bad Blood. I thought it was a terrific. 1989. <laughs> Terrible year. <laughs> Terrible year. Uh, this the is Simpsons so and all that when they eerily <laughs> accurate. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. It's John Stewart. He did a wonderful <laughs> job. <laughs> I will be hosting for the rest of the night. I will be hosting for the rest of the night. And I will decide everything about your lives for many eons to come. I will never die. I will be a head floating in a tank making decisions. So just buckle up and prepare for that. I know everybody's doing liberal and socialism and all that, but you better be ready. I'm going to live forever. <laughs> If I haven't died by now, it's never gonna happen, is it? <laughs> you thought you'd be done with me, it's never gonna happen. <laughs> Johnny, you're a wonderful person. Thank you so, so much. Ladies doing and gentlemen. Great. He's doing great, isn't Former it? President Donald Trump, give him a nice round wonderful of applause. Man. Jonathan Stewart. God bless our beautiful country. What a terrible place it is full of awful people. God bless our beautiful country. <laughs> Bye. And Guy Bennett, ladies and gentlemen.